Uh, my questions uh, will go to Professor Muigai. As we've been asked by a number of parties, that uh, to, they've asked us to settle the law around Article 138, 3 and 10. In your submissions, you suggested that the term commission can be used in multiple senses. How do we know which sense will be applied when? As a former Attorney General, perhaps uh, you can point us out to us whether it is in regulations, it is in the law, but how do we know which sense is applied when? My second question goes to the history of independent commissions, and Professor Muigai, you sat on the CPRC together with my colleague, Justice Lenaula, and you do know that the drafters of the Constitution introduced independent commissions and independent offices to deal with issues of authoritarianism, accountability, transparency, and to do away with the issue of one person having power. But from the narrative that we are hearing here in the court, there appears to be an all-powerful chair who, uh, uh, and I'm, so, so what is the check for this all-powerful chair if the commissioners uh, have nothing to do with his role? What would happen if the chair was to announce the wrong results completely? Or if he was mentally incapacitated or sick, or worst case scenario, dead? Who then would announce the results. Um, and um, what is the role of the other commissioners? I think this is bothering me, especially because it seems to me that um, your client and the IEBC suggest that the chairperson works with the CEO. And I feel a bit concerned. The CEO is not vetted by parliament. He is appointed, but he seems to wield immense powers over and above the other commissioners. I cannot imagine that that could have been the intention of the drafters of the Constitution. So what do, role do these commissioners actually do? Because it, it, it hasn't come clearly. Or, for example, if one commissioner says he's in charge of ICT, what does that mean? Does it mean he's in charge of ICT until the presidential election? Then he's not. What does it mean? What is the role of these commissioners? Uh, and, and I'm asking this question more towards trying to understand the leadership and the management in the commission as opposed to the management of the presidential election. Because I think they're two separate issues. And I'm trying to figure out whether this is a Shabukati problem. Is it a leadership problem? Is it a commissioner's problem? What's this problem we're seeing? I'm trying to understand that, and I'd like to hear that from you. Thank you. Uh, one more